After watching Infinity War for the 11th time, why not see one of these movies? Every time you come around, you monsters got me feeling like a monster in my own town. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 2018 summer movies not on your radar. Me and my family? Yeah. Cash is I'm your f***ing uncle. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some potentially amazing films you might not have heard of, but should definitely check out this summer. One more week of eighth grade, huh? Huh? I said one more week of eighth grade, right? Number 10. Replicas. Release date, August 24, 2018. Time since cardiac death. Seven hours, 15 minutes. If you just can't get enough of Keanu Reeves, and who can after the awesome John Wick movies, then you've got a great flick coming your way in the dog days of summer. After losing his family in a terrible car accident, a biologist defies the ethics of science to bring them back to life, no matter the cost. What if something horrible goes? Wrong. Something already has. Thought provoking and kind of disturbing, Replicas looks like the perfect action sci fi movie to cap off the season. Of course, you can also just see it because of how cool Keanu Reeves is. I didn't defy every natural law there is just to lose you again. Uh... Number 9 The Spy Who Dumped Me. Release date August 3rd, 2018. In 2018, women are killing it. We couldn't agree more. The Spy Who Dumped Me is shaping up to be one of the funniest comedies of the year. After an ex-boyfriend is revealed to be a CIA agent, two friends find themselves entangled in an international conspiracy. Drew is CIA. I'm sorry, what? The trailer pretty much defies every spy movie trope. From the girls immediately cracking in an interrogation to failing a car chase because they can't drive a stick shift. Do you know how to change a gear? What's a gear? <laughs> Leading ladies Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon clearly have amazing chemistry in their roles. Couple that with some genuinely exciting looking action, and the spy who dumped me has won our hearts. Oh my god, I killed someone! I killed someone! Stop yelling them! Number 8. Blind Spotting. Release date, July 27, 2018. I, I would like to get out. Look at that! David Diggs and Rafael Casal produce, write, and star in this comedy about two friends who are trying to find their purpose in life. I got three days left on this probation. When you got that gun on you, just don't tell me about it. As one of them approaches the end of probation, their friendship slowly begins to dissolve. The film was first screened at Sundance, where it received positive feedback. Miles, this is my best friend. He's gonna put you back in jail, or he's gonna get you killed. With its unique premise and compelling writing, Blind Spotting aims to be the cultural touchstone we need in these current times. We can't wait to stop watching the trailer and reading reviews in excitement and just go see the movie. I ain't no kill. Number 7. Tag. Release date, June 15th, 2018. Please tell me what's going on here. Our group of friends has been playing the same game of tag for 30 years. What? Remember the good old days where you and your friends would just play a game of tag on the playground? Imagine playing the same game for nearly 30 years straight with the same group of friends. As it turns out, the movie Tag is based on a true story about exactly that. Never been tagged. Just say it. Jeremy Renner plays Jerry, who's managed to avoid being it ever since the game started. And he will do anything to keep that title. Tag also co-stars Ed Helms of the recent Captain Underpants film and John Hamm of Mad Men fame. From what we've seen in trailers, with its silly concept and hilarious cast, Tag is gonna be a hilarious romp. I think your dad would've really wanted you to be it. <laughs> Number 6. Won't You Be My Neighbor? Release date, June 8th, 2018. Mr. Rogers? Yeah. I want to tell you something. What would you like to tell? I like you. When the trailer alone can bring tears to your eyes, you know the movie is going to be something special. Directed by Academy Award-winning documentary filmmaker Morgan Neville, Won't You Be My Neighbor takes a look at the man behind the TV show that became a staple in the lives of children everywhere. Mr. Rogers. Children have very deep feelings, just the way everybody does. Delving deep into his personal beliefs and philosophies, the movie has already received rave reviews from those who saw it at Sundance. And based on the glimpses we've seen, it looks like this is exactly the kind of feel-good story we need right now. Well, I suppose it's an invitation. 
It's an invitation for somebody to be close to you. Number five, sorry to bother you. Release date, July 6th, 2018. I'm just out here surviving. Lakeith Stanfield plays a telemarketer who's struggling to find success in his life. After learning a few tricks that boost company sales, like finding his white guy voice, he is propelled into a crazy world of riches, sex, and scandals. The film co-stars David Cross, Danny Glover, Army Hammer, Steve Buscemi, and Terry Crews. And with its humor and visual style, it looks like it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Well, man, I'm gonna have to get me some new suit. Sorry to Bother You premiered at Sundance back in January, and the movie saw overwhelmingly positive reviews. As the directorial debut of rapper Boots Riley, we wouldn't be surprised if we find this on next year's list of Oscar nominees. You are awesome. Number four, The Happy Time Murders. Release date, August 17th, 2018. Of all the movies coming out this year, or ever actually, we never thought we'd see a puppet murder mystery. In The Happy Time Murders, puppets live among humans as second-class citizens. The story follows a puppet private eye as he hunts down a serial killer murdering puppets from an old 80s TV show. A trailer hasn't been released yet, but the concept art and production stills show a lot of promise. Want to know the hilarious part? This movie of puppet murders, strippers, and vice is being directed by Brian Henson, son of the legendary Jim Henson. Number 3. Best Friends Volume 2. Release date, June 1st, 2018. Trust me, friendship before money. Looks like we have a pair of familiar faces coming to theaters this summer. The stars of the greatest worst movie ever made are back. Greg Sestero plays a young wanderer who lost his family in a tragic event. Upon meeting a strange mortician, played by Tommy Wiseau, the two set off on a wild road trip. One guy meet another in the big city. They have dream, but something change. Greed, hatred, and jealousy. You understand the words? After seeing the disaster artist, Sestero began writing Best Friends so that he could make another movie with Wiseau, which makes the film all the more heartwarming. Whether Best Friends Volume 2 ends up being terrible or fantastic, it's great to see Sestero and Wiseau making movies again. You spent $80,000 yeah, on this car? Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm, my little baby. Oh! Number 2. Hereditary. Release date, June 8, 2018. Come on, Peter. Yes, you're suing. Being described as the scariest movie in years, Hereditary sees a family being haunted by dark spirits following the death of their matriarch. Just from the trailers, you can tell this is going to be a bone chiller. Who's going to take care of me? You don't think I'm going to take care of you? But when you die... The moments are tense, the characters are disturbing, and the imagery is extremely graphic. This is not a movie for the squeamish. Hereditary premiered at Sundance in January, receiving an overwhelming amount of praise and even being compared to The Exorcist. People are going to be talking about this one for quite some time. Number 1. 8th Grade. Release date, July 13th, 2018. By the way, I like your shirt a lot. It's like so cool. We all lament how awkward our high school selves were, but we often forget that middle school was worse. Comedian Bo Burnham is ready to remind us of that in his directorial debut, Eighth Grade. The movie follows a young girl finishing her last weeks in middle school while preparing for her big jump into high school. Maybe you just need to put yourself out there a little. I'm gonna stop eating with hey, you if you I'm keep saying, doing well, You said I could say one thing. Like some of the other films on this list, it premiered at Sundance and was welcomed with outstanding praise. Then again, this is a comedy coming from Bo Burnham. He's a funny man, and we're confident that he, along with leading lady Elsie Fisher, will be the talk of the town when the film releases this July. You never know what's next, and that's what makes things exciting and scary and fun. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.